mountain gorillas awake a sense of optimism. They are the only great apes in the world known to be increasing in number. Reaching the milestone of 1,000 gorillas has been remarkable, so it's extremely good news. But what happens when the mountain gorilla population grows? However, its habitat does not. What if it becomes too small? Gorilla groups fight each other much more often today than in the past. And because of these attacks, gorillas regularly die. We wanted to know if the stress levels are increasing. If we don't act now, we're at risk of not being able to do it in 10 years, for example, from now. How many gorillas do we want to reach? 1,000, 1,500, 2,000? Is it still a wild population, or when does it become a wild zoo? African elephants. These grey giants need a lot of food every day. The elephants are zeroing in on the farmer's maize field. Desperately, the farmers create as much noise as they can to frighten them away. This time it works. But sometimes it goes the other way. These clashes between man and wild animal are getting more and more frequent, with victims on both sides. A solution to the conflict must be found. Mustangs. Spirited, hearty, magnificent. Introduced to the Americas by conquistadors in 1519. In 1890, an estimated two to three million roamed North America. By 1960, most had become, quite literally, pet food. Pretty much every Mustang herd in existence was in danger of disappearing from sight altogether. So all I can do is try and do something with them to show the, the rest of the world that these older wild mustangs possibly can and do have a future. These are American treasures. If you protect wild horses, you protect the land. Unusual story is being played out in the forests at the foot of the Carpathian Mountains. These two cubs are orphans. They've lost their mother, and according to the rules of the wild, every chance of survival. The siblings had a stroke of luck. They were found, and their new surrogate mother now makes every effort for their comfort. When the forest floor is even too wet for beetles, can tame bears ever get used to the wildness of nature? The outing into the forest was long and exhausting for the bears. Added to that, they had some extra lessons. Suddenly though, all their worries and tiredness evaporate. The Smiths Gang is one of 17 baboon families living on Table Mountain. I work fairly well with the baboons, so yeah. We're trying to understand where the baboons live. We've tried to look at their home ranges. And then we've tried to look at uh, what people are actually doing to them. As the baboons are so strictly protected, they have almost nothing to fear from human beings. Monitors like Mark manage to keep the baboons consistently in check, there is definitely a chance for peaceful coexistence for baboons and humans.
where there's a group of extremist anti-hunters out there enjoy making hunters' lives miserable. If you're gonna sit here and fuck with me, you're harassing me. Whoa! 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 These labs, these fur farms, these factory farms, these stores, they weren't built for any other purpose than to kill animals. Harassment, you guys can't be you know, following bear hunters around and, and videotaping them. And These white pieces here are pieces of bone. Whoa, look at this. Yeah, but I'm trying to leave here and you're keeping me in? That's kidnapping. Yeah, there's lots of dogs. Mm-hmm. Take the son of a bitch out of here. If you're an Indian, you come to my council. The whole point we're here is to avoid killing. And this shit right here with the bear hunters having fun is a bunch of bullshit. Well, you know, the pirate thing we've kind of adopted because we were called pirates for so long. I've been there in the small boats next to the harpoon ships, and it's scary. Tell your boss to stop his engine. The levels of the big top fish, already 90% of it are gone, and it won't recover. We counted 15 scoops. 75 tons of tuna, and they do it several times a day with a big fleet. So now you get an idea why the ocean is overfished. We have to understand we cannot stay still and, and just uh, be witness of the, this, the ongoing disaster. I'm doing this because I want the, the future world to future generations to have and uh, enjoy the ocean how we have. I have this memory of seeing those condors fly in the Argentinian sky where there are no traces of planes, there's nothing. There are 470 birds in the falconry of the Puy du Fou, making us one of the biggest collections and one of the largest breeding centers in Europe. One of the characteristics of condors, like all vultures, is that they live very old, so their sexual maturity is rather late. For the young ones, lessons will be learned every day, learning where to sleep, eat, live with other birds of prey. Saying that raising condors and releasing them was a mistake, but he reassured us by explaining that condors were not predators and that they only fed from animals that were already dead. One of the things the condor teaches us is to be passionate about what we do, by the personal commitment we put in our everyday life. Incomparable Yellowstone, an area of almost 30,000 square miles, and a landscape like no other. A place where ancient conflicts play out in a fragile balance. But something has tilted that balance dangerously. And the park's magnificent elk are disappearing. But who's the culprit? The wolf? Reintroduced 20 years ago, right when the elk numbers crashed. Grizzlies? Or is it something more insidious and baffling? Now scientists are racing to solve the mystery of the disappearing elk. Between 1880 till about 1930, in North America, humans killed every predator that they could. First thing I hear from people is fear. My children, is it going to kill my livestock? Is it going to eat my dog or my cat? Wildlife Services sends its agents to shoot, trap, and poison about 100,000 native predators each year. Many ranchers now realize that humans can and should learn to coexist with these animals. What kind of world? Do we want to live in? You have to leave space for the wildlife. Most people today don't like to see predators killed. That's that's common knowledge. Maybe it's time for 
a change, for us to change. Is this earth just for us to take over, or do we share it? <laughs>